Uh, so it's been a long time that I shared any tutorial. So today I'm back with another tutorial for PIC Basic programming. So I have shared earlier uh, the tutorials for PIC Basic. So if you haven't gone through that, you can go through and those are the basic tutorials for, you know, uh, uh, learning PIC Basic. So it's a very ancient language and uh, it's a microcontroller language, which is directly being understood by the machines. Okay, so so today i'll talk about uh, editor commands okay so so today we'll see uh, like uh, what are the commands that are used in the basic editor which is provided in in big basic programming language okay so let's start with that so first of all let me introduce you to our channel this is linux unix ix for uh, python shell scripting uh, cloud computing and uh, you know windows related issues okay so if you have any if you want to learn any tutorial like uh, uh, for uh, unix or shell scripting or cloud computing you can subscribe this if you haven't already okay so let's go ahead and uh, start with the with the process okay so here i am so this is my uh, system and uh, let me just uh, so let me just open i have created one small uh, <coughs> proc so which is like uh, okay so i'll just show you uh, which is my own uh, proc so what i'm doing here is i have created a nine nine lines of proc okay so i'll just open it with an editor okay so if i open it so it is saying nine lines long so i'm what i'm going to do is i'll show you the set of things that you can do here so first of all i will uh, you know uh, <clears throat> let me open a notepad first okay so first of all like we'll i'll list out the commands that we can do here so you know p is for printing and b is for bottom so let me just try p so it will print the whole uh, program okay and you can also specify the number of lines you can use so let's say if you if you do p2 it will only print two lines okay fine uh okay so again if you want to go to top you have to press t okay so T is for going to the top. Fine. Okay. Okay. So now let's say uh, I want to. Uh, so for example, if you want to know about any of the command, so at any at any moment in the editor, you can. What you can do is you can uh, do help and then P. So it will tell you like okay, P is for printing. Okay. So if you do like help and Q, so it will tell you like okay. Q is to exit the editor. So if you want to exit from here, you can do Q. Okay. So if you do like I, so for example, I have uh, this uh, line. Okay. So if I go to top and if I do P, so it is only printing two lines. Okay. So if I do P10, okay. So it's printing all the lines. Okay. So fine. So so now if you see, uh, let's say I want to insert a line at after line number two. Okay, so if I go to line number two, okay, going going to a particular line can be done using the number. So if you give two, it will take you directly to the line number two. Okay, so let's say I want to insert here something. So you have to give I and then press. So here I want to type something. Okay, let's say C. Okay, some 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 random lines. Okay, so if I do that, so if, if you want to complete, if you want to continue uh, inserting lines, you have to keep on typing. If you if you want to quit out of uh, inserting, you have to press enter without entering anything. Okay, so now you're out of uh, the insert command. Okay, so if you just do help I, it'll tell you like insert a new line. Okay, so if you want to insert a line before an, a current line, you have to give IB. Okay, so this is I which is used to insert. Okay, Q is to quit. Okay, again similarly you, you have X also to quit. Okay, I think you have you have E also to exit. Okay, so like that. So for example, if I do X, I'll exit from this. No, okay, it's not that. Fine. So I think the X is not to exit. I think Q and uh, E. Okay, and E is to e, e X. Okay, ex is to exit. Okay, so when you exit, right, it is asking record have changed. It's okay to quit. So if you press Y, it will uh, not save it, and it will exit from it. So again, I'll I will uh, open the v, uh, editor again. So so you know, VOC is nothing but your uh, 
uh, your vocabulary where all your procs are stored. So any command or proc procedures you want to make, you, you can store them in VOC. Okay, fine. So whatever, whatever we have covered so far, we have covered. Uh, okay, so let's say, let's say I want to uh, save the file. Okay, so how do I do that? Okay, so yeah. So coming back to the uh, editor and uh, let's say I, I went to number line number three and then I am, I'm, I'm, I want to insert a, a line before this line. Okay, so how, how can I do that? I can do using IB. Okay, if I do IB, it will insert uh, before, after the second line, that is before the third line. Okay, so now this is becoming the third line. Okay, so let's say I want to insert uh, C then followed by any random value. Okay, so if I just press enter again, it is saved. Okay, if I do FI, okay, now here is a trick. If you do FI only, it will save the file uh, as the same name. If you want to save it with the same name. Okay, so you see it is saved. Again, let's open it. So to open without uh, only a read read only mode you have to do ct and then voc and then shan so it will only open it as a as a read only you are not you don't have anything to edit okay fine again opening the editor okay so what what all we have covered fi so if i give a file name here let's say if i give uh, like shan2 so it will save the same file with a different name with a shan2 okay so this is how you can save the file okay fine let's say let's go ahead and uh, let's say i want to go to th number line number three and i want to delete this line so you can do delete for d for deleting okay so it is deleted okay fine so i'll just write it down here d is for deleting okay if you want to see the help for d you can do that help d so it is delete the current line okay then again you have several variations you can try out with your own okay Fine, let's go ahead and uh, see some more thing. Okay, so uh, I wanted to show you like L command. Okay, so what is L? So if you do help L, it will tell you, okay, L is used to locate the line that contains the string. Okay, for example, if I go back to the top and if I print, so let's say I want to locate for uh, a value, okay? So if I want to locate for value, so you see value is there in line number five. Okay, so again, it's only if I press. So if you want to uh, see the next occurrence of value in the same file, you don't have to type L value again. You just type L. Okay, so you see it is look it will look for the next occurrence of value, but it is not there. So it will go to the bottom. Okay, fine. This is used. This is the L. Okay, I'll just write it down here. L. Okay. So what is next? Then we have, uh, if you want to know more, like I don't know what are the commands available in the editor, you simply press help, okay? So it will give you an option to enter and then you will have all the options that you can do using uh, the editor. Okay, now we got one more command C. So what is C? C is used to, uh, C is used to uh, change in a, in a text so for example if i go to top and print let's say i want to change this value to something else okay i go to line number five and i do uh, c then you have to give uh, the the from and to so let's say i want to change value to something else like data okay so if you do this what will happen is it will it will see it is changing value to data so the first occurrence of value is changed to data but if you notice the second occurrence of value is same as it is okay so if you want to uh, change the uh, the uh, all the uh, occurrences of a string you have to give g which is used which is globally okay so if you give value slash uh, then the next the two string and then if you give g so it will globally change the value so value is changed to data at all the places so we have c okay then we have g okay so just to do help and g so if you do g so what is g used for it is used to go to a number line number okay so for example if i just print it or top print to go if i want to go to 
uh, line number uh, six so I can do that okay so this is used this is you cannot do like that uh, directly you have to use it in a program so for example let's see the line number eight so what I have done is if a miss if any answer is given if a user enters any value go to line number 40 so if I run this program you will understand so line number 40 is nothing but uh, any line which is starting with 40 okay so you have to use this as a conditional go to so so if I run this program let me let me just run this program so I'll just uh, I won't save it okay so I'll just quit it and I'll, I'll say yes I am okay to quit without changing okay so if I run this program which is Shan so see it is asking for a value enter a value so if I press uh, <coughs> 2 see so what is happening is that it is whenever I am entering anything it is again asking me for another value so what is see the line number 5 enter a data okay so <clears throat> when I enter a value so it is checking IP to accept the input so it is checking if a means if anything is entered by user go back to line number 40 so it is nothing but an infinite loop so as long as you are you keep on entering a value it is coming back to this line number 40 uh, and then it is again asking for a value so if I just enter anything it is keep on asking me okay so if I don't enter anything it will come back of that loop and then it will execute the next command and which is here in this case date so h date so h is nothing but any command if you want to uh, run any basic command inside the editor you can do it through h okay so again I will write h here and then g also g is for go to okay go g or go are same thing okay coming back here so again I'll open the editor for me so okay so now we have one very interesting uh, feature which is uh, used to uh, 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 display these special characters so it is uh, uh, these this carrot you know if I press this so what is happening up arrow display mode enabled so what is happening in you know sometimes in the file you have some characters which are not visible so for example if I let's say I'll show you okay so let's say I want I go back to uh, line number three and uh, if I just do uh, replace okay so I have one more command called replace which is very interesting so R okay so if I want to replace this line if I want to replace this with something else so you have to give R space then something like that you know some value like like for example C and then uh, then let's say oh, now I will introduce some special characters so I'm pressing control and then close uh, square bracket okay so let me just type it here so what I'm typing is I'm typing control followed by square bracket this bracket okay fine so okay so what I'm doing is I have to press control and then square bracket and then let's say anything else like you know like seven okay so you see this value which is there it is written here it is a special character so if I now press enter it is saved okay so now what is happening so if I open this file now so what is happening you will understand by this okay if I do this so you see line number three we have some so this is used when you want a multi value for a particular field okay so for example I want two value or a multi value okay for that to separate one value from other we use this special character so this is not visible so if if you see like this it is not visible so now to enable the ASCII character you have to do this uh, caret mode so you shift and then number six so if I do that so now if you if you go back to top and press P so you see now it is showing as the ASCII character so that is the ASCII character for this 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 particular digit okay this particular thing okay so this is how you can use to enable the ASCII character okay so this is another feature okay then we saw R okay so so this is a, this these are all the stuff that you can use in editor okay coming back to again uh, 
so let's say uh, I want to edit again so again if you want to edit run the last command you have to use dot X if you want to run the second last command you have to give dot X2 like that okay so again let's say I want to see what what are the things available in editor so we saw a to append okay then B for bottom C we saw then D also we saw delete go to also we saw okay then these are the things you can do you know with uh, piece to perform okay so like that so you can go through that okay so and uh, so I have covered most of the uh, frequently used commands so if you have anything more you can let me know and uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial I think it's already been long and uh, so let me know what else you feel and what else you want me to add and uh, if you like it please subscribe and share thanks for watching